Hello, Muster0063 back, and yes, it's finally time. I've been promising this game for such a long time, but it's finally here. This is... I want to be myself. So, yeah. What can I really say about what's kind of it's been going... I'm going to let this kind of play through. I've seen as much as, you know, through this this little kind of cutscene here and what on the credits and whatnot for credits at the beginning of the game, huh? So I'll just kind of maybe talk a bit over that, um, and I'll also go through the pre-story as well. But um, yeah, it's been about a month or so since kind of last meaningful um, upload. I have been involved in uh, Yo Sniper's second fan game contest, so um, that, from my point of view, that's now out of the way. I've played all the games, I've written up all the feedback, I've voted. I'm not going to say any more than that uh, at the moment, because it's still the contest is still ongoing as at the time this video is going to be uploaded, but... I guess I will say that there is one kind of game from the, from the contest that I'm probably going to end up doing a Let's Play of reasonably soon. Or at least in terms of not too long from a game, from a number of games point of view. I have no idea how long this Let's Play is going to take. From what I hear, the game is very, very long. Um, and I'm probably also going to do a, a, a Mega Man 8 after this game is completed. But um, yeah, that very well may, may take up the rest of the year <laughs> in terms of... Uh, my let's playing. Um, oh, credits are over, so uh, it's kind of a uh, let, well. Let's stay there for a moment. Um, so yeah, this, this game is by uh, Sir Reuben, and um, I guess oops, not registering. Helpful. There we go. Um, I guess it's probably worth saying. I'm going to need the mouse actually, aren't I? That I do have very high hopes for this game. Um, not least because of the feedback I know it's received, but because from Yo Sniper's first fan game contest, um, I really enjoyed um, I Want to Get Some Money, which is also made by Sir Reuben. Um, it wasn't my absolute favourite of the contest, it actually placed as my third um, best game um, from the contest, although I wasn't an official judge then, or whatever, but um, yeah, it was still very, very good, and I've heard very, very good things about this game. Um, it's still unfinished, hence my kind of somewhat trying to leave it alone for a little bit but I think it's been ages since there was a last update I from what I can tell from the forum pages there's still a planned update to kind of finish off the game but I say it's been ages I felt like I really couldn't wait any longer um, with this game since I've been promising it for so long um, but yeah I hear really good things about it and uh, so yeah based on my experience on playing I want to get some money I'm expecting a really really good game um, I guess that's probably all about the preamble that I want to uh, mention. So, um, yeah, I do know what's in the pre-story, because I've just been preparing myself a little bit to how I would start to kick off the game. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, go to the pre-story, and I'll, I'll talk through that. Everything began with the creation of the universe. Only light and the darkness were existing. They were energy and nothing more. But then the light transformed to a living form, the God of Light. He created the universe with several worlds, and he created living forms for every world. It was a peaceful universe without wars and dark creatures. After some time, the darkness also transformed to a living form, the God of Darkness. The God of Light recognized the danger, so he started the fight against the God of Darkness. The God of Darkness countered by creating opposite living forms based on the first living forms. The war began and dark opposites fought against their origin. It was a very violent war, many died, and everyone suffered. The God of Light saw only one way to end this war. He used all his power to create another small universe. There he imprisoned the God of Darkness and the opposites. The dark creatures couldn't escape their prison. The universe once again was filled with peace. But this act costed the God of Light too much. He died, and from his last power, the descendants of the Light were created. Their fate was to protect the universe in case of a comeback of the darkness. Many years passed, and nothing happened. Just peace existed, but the descendants of the Light always felt a great dark power. Then the impossible happened. The dark creatures returned. They were not much, but after their death, other dark creatures appeared. As time passed, the number of descendants of the light decreased, and the number of dark creatures increased. 
But a sense of the light gave up and tried to forget about the darkness. The dark creatures still attacked the light. They desired the death of every descendant of the light. So those could only flee. At the moment the darkness concentrates for the final strike against the universe, and there are only four descendants of the light left who can save the universe. Will this be the end of everything? Not if I can help it. Now, I guess one extra thing I do want to say before I kick off the game properly. Yes, I'm finally going to get to it in just a moment. Um, but I am aware... Um, you probably saw it kind of this glim you know, glimpses of it in the pre-story there about certain characters. So from the look of it, there seem to be four characters, and you play most of the time as a as a R, which is also kind of a character from uh, I want to get some money. Um, but I think the big thing is um, the amount of text <laughs> that's going to be in this game, um, from what I can glean anyway, and also the quote unquote English. Um, Perhaps not being the best. You may have spotted a few, perhaps grammatical and spelling uh, kind of things uh, in that as well. I don't. I'm probably just going to read it pretty much as it appears and not try and second guess things. Um, what I will say about the text is, if it does become too much, I don't quite know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe I'll fast forward through it as the game progresses. It, it depends on how much there is. I, I don't really know, but from what I can, from what I, from what I can tell, there's going to be a lot of text. So. I may just have to kind of, you know, skip through it or something. But um, yeah, we'll kind of see how it goes for the first couple of videos. And if it starts to get, just feels like I'm just talking for five minutes, just literally reading text, I'll see whether or not I should do something about it. Um, but yeah, let's finally kick this off. Let's go to a new game. And we can start. I have already configured my controls, so I've got Shift as my jump and Z as my uh, double jump. And um, I'm going to play this on medium. I was inst well, not instructed to do so, but suggested to do so by um, a few people, uh, particularly Meta Knight Kirby 2, who is effectively the reason why I'm doing this game. It's your help on I Want to Kill the Camellia 2 on I Want to Be the Catastrophe screen, I think it was. Oh, I can't remember now, it's such a long time ago. Um, as, to, as to why I'm doing this in the first place, as a thank you for helping me and helping me through that. So. Yeah, I can only apologise it's taken me this long to get around to do it, but uh, yeah, I was kind of instructed to do medium, I certainly don't want to do, my bosses are going to be a pain, but um, thankfully it kind of went easy on me, I'm not doing easy, but yeah, medium over hard. So here we go, properly with the game, and a teleporter room. If you've already played this game, choose a teleporter to continue, if you've never played this before, go into the first teleporter, so I assume game start. Prologue, Oppositors. And Mario, don't know about 64 music or whatnot, but um, oh, more Mario. Okay, I like, I must admit, I really do like this um, sprite and the way this, this guy looks. Let's just test a few things out. I can shoot kind of reasonably quickly and up to five bullets, I think, so uh, yeah. Okay, you can enter houses, talk to people, or read signs if you're in front of them and press your up key. This is Master R's house, coming to see something special. Okay, I presume I'm called Master R. Oh, and it's, okay, it's space to, uh, can I go around the other side? And it's space to uh, advance the text by the look of it. Ooh, nice coin. You may find many coins in your upcoming adventure. You can buy useful items with them later, so watch out for hidden paths. There might be a coin. Oh, excellent. So there's, like, up upgrades and whatnot. And can I get this coin? I'm thinking probably, well, obviously at some point in time, but I'm assuming not at the moment. Let's try one double jump over from over here. I'm assuming that I'm going to get something that's going to enable me to get that, some kind of power up upgrade, whatnot, but it doesn't look like I can get that coin at the moment, which is a slight shame, but nevertheless. There's a little arrow here, so uh, yeah, let's go in that direction. What a wonderful day. Follow my voice. What the? Press your jump button to jump. Press it twice for a double jump. Yes, kind of standard. As I said, this one's going to tell me it's something about shooting. Press your shoot button to shoot. You can kill enemies or destroy some blocks with your bullets. Okay, so these ones that clearly look like they're cracked or something. Nice animation on that, by the way. Uh, most things will kill you. A good example are spikes. Don't touch them. If you are willing to die, press your death button, which will be Q for suicide, so don't touch the spike. Shoot. And a save. 
Oh, the thing to your right is a save point. Shoot at it to save the game. Kind of a bit weird when there's a save point on the very first screen, but, um, you know, oh well. I guess we're still establishing certain kind of things at the moment. Oh, this is going to be wall climbing, isn't it? This green things, like I said from a grammar point of view, these green things, or this green thing, but I'm not going to point out every single one, this green things are vines. You can perform a wall jump on them, hold, hold them down your jump button and moving left or right. If you don't get it, try it a bit because this will be important later on. While touching the vines, your double jump recharges. Oh, okay. And now I had it's just two or a couple of things. Okay, so I love. Oh, that's awesome! Awesome little um, animation on the R there on the uh, on the wall thing. Okay, so I can double jump. What if I double jump onto a vine? Can I now? And I get another double jump back as well. And I must say, although I'm only kind of wall climbing on the left hand side. Let's just finish that thought before we progress. I was climbing on the left-hand side, which I think, based on my experience on I Want to Be the Sublime, was the best... Was it the better way, or was it the other side? No, it was the... It was the right-hand side was the better way. That was so... I was approaching the wall from the left there. That, that wall jumping was flawless. From what I could tell, I had no problem with that whatsoever. I imagine there's going to be more in the game, so let's just get on. But the wall... I am super psyched there about the wall jumping. That seemed to work brilliantly. Yes. <laughs> What happened to the sky? We did that. Just continue following my voice. I will explain everything to you if we meet then. Wait, you said we. Who are you? What do you want from me? Please tell me. Just continue following my voice. Okay. I don't necessarily plan on doing, like, different voices um, throughout the game kind of much, because I don't know how many characters there are going to be and whatnot, so I'll probably just do one or two kind of different booming kind of boom elements to my voice or something to, I don't know, I don't even know what I'm saying, but just kind of some kind of um, way of telling apart the voices, but not for all of them, because I'm no voice expert or, you know, anything like that, so, yeah. Okay, platforms and lasers, which I'm assuming I'm going to have to avoid and go through the... Wow, brilliant. Oh, really? Okay, at least I can press space to go through quickly. Okay, first of what I'm sure will be many, many deaths. And a ridiculously clumsy one. I am not thrilled about that death. That was awful. <laughs> anyway, yeah, the uh, laser beams, you can clearly see there's a kind of a, well, yellow, I assume. Colour recognition, again, terrible. But there's a clearly a, a, an area where they're not kind of coloured in. So, um, yeah, that's going to be the kind of area. And a portal, which I assume we're going to have to get into at some point. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, here's going to be the acid test. So let's just... Okay, so that's a right-hand solid wall, and this is a left-hand solid wall, and those wall jump physics are superb. Oh, yes. Particularly if there's going to be lots of this in the game. That is going to be so, so good. You'll know, if, you know, from watching other Let's Plays, but, you know, particularly I want to be the Sublime, but wall jumping was just, for some reason, something that I just seemed to have a nightmare with. But that was awesome and I am super excited about that. Okay, this is all reasonably straightforward at the moment. Yay, I'm going to get into the portal. Um, by pressing S you can skip some dialogues, mostly the ones before a boss fight. Speaking of boss fights, there is one ahead. Oh yay, so steal myself. Excellent! Super meat boy. Warp zone. Excellent. <laughs> Finally you arrived. First I thought you wouldn't be able to come here. I am the Dark Magician. I am a... Who the hell was the other... Oh, was that just the booming voice? Okay. I am a member of the Oppositors. We act for our master. And what are you doing with this world? What do you want from me? Our master wants to rule the world, and therefore, spelling, you have to die. I can't let you take over the world, but why do you have to kill me for that? I don't know why our master wants your death, but I will do what my master wants from me. You want to fight? Well, then be ready for it. You have no chance of winning. You will die right now. Okay. Ah. Okay, I can live with that. I have a clip. I need to go up, presumably. Okay, this feels like it's going to be very much like a tutorial kind of fight. Oh, and the health bar changes colour when you take certain amounts of damage. You now have a shield up, which is kind of annoying. I hope that shield goes goes down. Thank you. I'm right on cue. Goes away at some point. You're so close. Come on, first go would be lovely. First go would be lovely! Yes! 
Okay, clearly it... Whoa! What? I just fell through the... Platform. Okay. <laughs> well, still pretty clearly, obviously, a nice kind of tutorial boss that doesn't really do too much. I don't know if that was all of his attacks or whatnot, but, um, yeah. For a Dark Magician, you were surprisingly straightforward. <laughs> Where am I? Oh crap, it's a cave. Whatever those oppositors seem to be bad guys. If someone has to stop them, I should tell it to other people. Uh, yes. First I should find an, ex an exit. That seems to be a better plan. Okay, what's this thing? I can't do... I can't get on top of it, and I can't do anything. Do I have a charge ability at the moment? Okay, I can't do anything at the moment on the right-hand side, so let's go to the left. This is ominous. This background looks very similar to the one from I Want to Get Some Money, I think. Oh, a gun. Let me guess. I'll now be able to break apart that block. Ooh. Oh, wow, I love the sound of that. You obtained the breaker gun. This gun can only be used by Master R. The bullets of this gun can break shields, barriers, and similar things. Somewhere in this region is a barrier. There you can test your new weapon. Okay, I can't go back to the right, so I'm going to have to go back to the left. Oh, has the music gone away? <laughs> nice sound. Ah, there we are. Oh, yay. Oh, I love the, uh, I really like the animation on those, uh, those things as well. Right, okay, how long have I been going? About 16 minutes or so? I have no idea how long I'm going to make this first part. Well, that would seem to be, I kind of feel like I want to go on a bit, a bit more. That was kind of, the prologue's done, but I've been talking an awful lot, just kind of setting stuff up at the beginning, and I don't feel like I've played too much of the game. So, you know what? I've been absent for about a month or so. Let's make this first, well, the first video in this Let's Play a little bit longer. Let's continue on, and we'll see if I can get to an, I don't know. We'll just, I'll just see how I feel in terms of timing. But anyway, here we are. Prologue done, apparently. Uh, chapter one, Dark Destiny. And, okay, I'm going to find, let's find out for future reference. That water doesn't seem to do anything to me. Interesting. Okay. And, uh, okay, I can endlessly climb that. And there's a coin. But the button's probably going to do something to me, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, it's a nice, different game over music. Interesting. And, okay, let's just do that one more time. I don't think... No, there was... There, I'm pretty sure barriers came up that meant I can't really do anything else. No, I can't. I can't get away from that. So it doesn't look like I can get the coin at the moment. Um, okay, so... Let's have a look. Up. What the flip? What the... I had some... Did I just get a coin? I want to be the ultimate hero. I'm aware of that game. I can't seem to do any... Is it just a title screen as a means of getting a coin? I can't seem to do anything else. I assume that's my lot. And I'm assuming lava kills me. Um, I need to find a save point as well, because if I don't, I'm assuming I'm not going to keep the coin. Can I go back? No, I can't. Okay, so I assume I'm going to have to go down then? Okay. Oh, I have an oxygen meter. Or an air something or other. Yeah, it must be like an oxygen meter or an air, yeah, air meter or something. Okay, interesting. Oh, I so don't want to die before I, before I can do something with this coin. Or save, rather. Ah, oh, really? Oh, and I've got... Ah, I'm going to have to time this. I've got an air meter to worry about. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, oh great. That seems a bit stingy from a... Let's just see if I can just jump... Okay, yeah, there's definitely a coin there. There's definitely a coin. No save point, though. Hmm, that's a bit... That's quite a way for a, before a save point. I probably screwed this up hor Well, I know I screwed this up horribly, but still. Ah, 
Ah, there we go. Oh, right, not too bad. I just probably, yeah, screwed up horribly. Okay, so this is a whoa. This is looking interesting. Mm. Okay, this might be where we, the game really starts to kind of pick up a little bit, I guess. Damn. Although I am liking it, yeah, I am really liking it so far, I have to say. Damn! Why am I keep dying there? Ugh. Yeah, here we go, this is where the game starts. Thank you, right. Okay, at least the air, the air meter seems to be pretty generous. They seem to be, you seem to be able to kind of stay underwater for a long time, so that seems pretty good. Okay, what's down here? I'm going to have to go up to the top and break apart those blocks, presumably. As long as... Whoa! I was not expecting that. Kudos on that. Okay, so I'm going to have to get up way, way higher. For what? I don't know what I'm going to have to do. Maybe I have to fake them out then or something. Oh, what? Okay, let's just dash for it. Am I going to get... Oh. Okay, I might have to... What, wait a bit until that stupid fish, or whatever the hell it is, isn't right in the way there, but... Oh, there we go. No, we don't, because I moved too far to the right and I got clobbered by the other platform. Wow, okay. Right. Up, 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 up. Okay, let's not screw this up. Let's wait till that fish is well out of the way. <laughs> and there's one more thing. I see something in the... Bottom right corner! No! Oh, I need to press the switch in the bottom right corner. <laughs> okay, chalk that one up to EDC. Let's run from the start, because I don't want to wait at the beginning every bloody time. Let's just hope that I don't get caught by this fish. Alright, fine. I will wait a little bit. Now I'm going to get clobbered by that one. Maybe. <laughs> uh, right, okay. Dear me, right. Get that this time. And get out. And don't die to the fish. <laughs> and don't die stupidly by misaligning myself on the spike or anything. Right, yay. Whoa, okay. Right. Okay, I'm loving the wall jump. That's, that's excellent. This has got to be a trap, but oh well. What are you? What the? <laughs> no star power for you. Excellent. Well, I kind of figured that was going to be <laughs> some kind of trick. I'm assuming there's nothing else down there, but uh, yeah, let's just, yeah, well, let's assume that and progress on. Okay, got that. Yay. Uh, two ways to go here, by the look of it. Let's try down. This, what? This looks like a boss. Can I... I'm going to skip that and go up. I want to see if there is a way up. Uh, <laughs> oh, that really clearly didn't miss much, but yeah, I want to... Okay, so, what, are there going to be those types of things littered throughout the game? I want to be the rock man. Yes, I'm aware of that one, and played it. Kind of enjoyed it for the most part. Okay, and a save point there, right, right there, so I can get the, so I can save the coin. Okay, so what are you? And I think that's what, yeah, that's what Master R was about to say. Yeah. Dot dot dot. So you cannot talk. No problem. Just let me pass. Dot dot dot. That was easy. I thought you would attack me. Dark. What? You can talk? Let me guess. You are an oppositor. Am I right? I am Dark Nebula, a member of the Oppositors. I will end your life now. Why did I know this before? Well, then try your best because I don't want don't want to die. No apostrophe. You cannot win. My master gave me the ability to create shields, which can, which can only be destroyed with the breaker gun. Haha, <laughs> and I have it. I found that gun. Oh, that wasn't planned like that. Anyway, die. Okay, right, fine. Clearly a shield. And oh, are these bubbles. Okay, my bubble. The bubbles are the air refiller. Okay, fine. I can live with that, just stay somewhat to one side. Okay, you don't seem to be that difficult, if that's all you do. Uh, ah, 
Okay, fine, that's a bit different. I wasn't expecting that. Do you die? No, but I do. Ugh. Right, I can skip this rest now. Right, yeah, good. Okay, and the shield comes back, so it's a kind of a perennial thing where I've got to keep attacking or the shield's going to come back. All right, fine. Well, let's try and get in a bit closer and deal some mega damage then. Oh, okay, is it a time thing then? Oh, no, not a time thing, sorry. A damage thing? I only can only do so, many, so much damage before the shield comes back? I don't know. Okay, at least these star thingies, fragments are easy enough to kill. Oh, that's how you do, that's how you um, hurt the thing, is it? Or an extra thing, anyway. So I swear that did some damage, or maybe it was just to the shield, I don't know. Oh, I don't have to kill them either, do I? Might as well, I guess, so that they're clearing a bit of a thing. And they actually deal some... No, they don't. Or maybe... I don't know, maybe they do. Maybe if the shield's not there, they do damage. I don't know. Who cares? Can I get you? No! I'm kind of inclined to try that, but I also kind of just want to get rid of this thing. No, it doesn't seem to be doing anything to the shield, at least. Anyway. Uh, okay, still a pretty easy boss, and uh, I assume I can now progress. Whoa. Okay, now how long have I been going? 25 minutes? Let's just maybe see what's beyond this, although I have now beaten two bosses and made some pretty decent progress, or at least I think so, for the first video. I'll go on a bit longer, why not? I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying this, I don't want to stop for the moment. Um, there's a switch up there, what does that do? If I can hit it, it raises the water. Excellent. Um, okay, so let's plan... I can shoot it again, maybe, I presume, to reduce it? Yeah, okay, okay, so it's, it's permanently up, it's not a timed thing, okay. Okay, so let's put it back on. Uh, and there is a air bubble kind of thing somewhere where I can refill my air meter. And wow, we've got to be quick. Wow! Ho ho! Okay, let's, let's not do that. Maybe... If I know I've hit the switch, maybe I can go earlier. That way I've just got that little bit of extra time where I'm not underwater. That is really tight. Unless I was just going incredibly slowly for some reason. Yeah, I seem to comfortably make it there. I don't know whether it was because I fell down at the beginning and that made all the difference. I don't know, but yeah. Okay, now the block's obviously in my way, so presumably shooting this will will make me look like a complete idiot when I screw up the timing. Yay! I probably could have still made that as well, but oh, I screwed up my double jump and yeah. Let's just wait for the water to completely recede this next time before trying to go ahead of myself. Right. What happened there? Okay, I swear that was not my fault. The jump did not... I, again, I probably still could have made it. At least that was what happened the first time as well. But that first jump off the platform is wonky as all hell. Okay, I'm going to just kind of do a nothing jump. Yeah. Did you, yeah, did you kind of see that first jump? It's almost like the water hasn't gone away yet. Now my jump's absolutely fine. Yeah, okay, that was weird. Uh... Oh, okay, fine. Oh, it's a spring. <laughs> okay, fine. I was thinking if I hadn't got that first go, I'd have been kind of screwed, but... Um... No, okay, fine. And I guess we're going down, since I've got no way of getting there to be able to go up yet. Uh, what are you? I don't know, but you hurt. And I am very short of the places to go for air. Oh, this gets rid of it. the air. Doesn't get rid of my clumsiness, but still. Oh, okay, I see. So it get, probably gets rid of the damn it lasers, and then I can use all the blocks and everything to get over to the spring area and hopefully survive. Okay, so you work on a... Uh, stick to the same height as me. Okay, well, that's 
that's kind of annoying. I was hoping to let's go. Okay, that works out fine. Boing. Okay, and it gets rid of that laser. I'm assuming if I die that I'm probably going to have to do that all over again, but oh well. And, okay, you don't shoot fire, you just spurt it out. And not very far. Oh, you do turn around. Blimey, okay, right. <laughs> Good to know for the future. <laughs> okay. Okay, this looks kind of tight. Can I hit that save? No, I can't. And that was risky. <sighs> okay, still pretty easy though. Oh, I can hit the, I can't hit the save from over there. Yeah, I, Okay. What do you do? Okay, I did not mean to get hit by that. I thought I was going to die, but... Okay, so the bubbles just send me back. But clearly, if I'm not at the, at the kind of height of the middle, it's just going to knock me straight back into the laser, so I need to avoid them. Oh, and you can aim at different angles. And, whoa. That was lucky. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's kind of tricky. Okay, that one didn't uh, that one didn't make any difference, and we're done. Yes. Wow, I am having fun. I am having enormous fun at the moment. This is really enjoyable. Okay, so clearly the gimmick here is uh, get hit by the bubbles, and it's going to send me crashing into the spikes. Okay, and here I've got fire and bubbles to worry about. But they're not like they don't they don't they don't shoot particularly like really quickly one after the other and they can't seem to go through walls so yeah not too much of an issue. If you discover something new, always shoot at it. Maybe it will help you. Uh, what pray tell did that do? I'm not quite sure the point of that, other than if it's simply to get to do something humorous on the uh, shoot, shoot kind of idea. But uh, yeah, okay, fine, anyway. Okay, so now we've got timing. Whoa, that was lucky, I think. <laughs> we've got timing with springs and whatnot. Okay, let's cancel out all that double jump so I can get... Oh, blimey, I wasn't even paying attention, and that was so, so lucky. <laughs> Okay, yeah, if I'd fallen down, if I'd fallen to the left of that laser beam, I'd have been stuffed because there's no way I can get out. And uh, yeah, I, I was meant to have the thing carry me through the through the gate. Blimey, that was lucky as hell. <laughs> oh, isn't it awesome when things just luck, we just luck out first time? Awesome. Okay. Really? I, I'm embarrassed by that. Okay, but I can't seem to... Really? No, they don't know how to compensate. Yay. Thank you. And I save that soon? Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. Who are you? You are still alive? I thought Dark Nebula killed you. Who are you? You look like me. Are you the master of Dark Nebula? You're probably my opposite, or whatever the hell they're called. I am Dark R. Oh, yes, I am his master. My minions told me that you fell into this cave, and now I am here to kill you. I still don't get it. Why do you want to kill me? And why do you look like me? I am really surprised that you made it so far, but I will not tell you anything. Did you really think that I would talk with my victim? What a funny idea. If you don't want to talk, I will kill you now. Funny. You think you would have a chance? No, you have no chance. But if you can pass my next test, we will fight. Your next test? Come on, don't run away. Let us fight if you really want to kill me. I will wait at the end of this cave. If you can come out of here, I have no other possibility than killing you by myself. What? The? I can't move. Um, whoops! Oh! Okay, let's see whether this is a convenient point to stop or whether I'll continue on with the test. Oh, okay, we look like we're in a completely new area. It's been about, well, over half an hour, certainly, so let's maybe end here. It looks like it's a completely new area. I, yeah, this is a good place to stop. So, uh, yeah, this will be the end of the first part. I am, I'm really enjoying this game so far, although it's been only one part. Oh my god, this music sounds brilliant. Um, looking forward to hearing this next time. Um, 
yeah, I yeah, I expected it was probably as much of the game from based on the fact that it was Sir Reuven and from the feedback I'd heard. But uh, yeah, I've really really enjoyed this, and I am really looking forward to continuing on this game. It's been pretty easy so far. I don't know whether the difficulty is going to really ramp up or whatnot, or whether that's just because I ended up choosing medium. I don't know. Maybe I should have chosen hard. I don't know. But um, oh well, we'll just kind of see how it goes. But yeah, the overriding the overriding emotion I think from this first from this kind of first time playing is fun. Really enjoying this. And yeah, I will leave it there. So um, this has been the end of part one, as the music comes to comes to even more, feeling more epic. This is the end of part one, and uh, yeah, I hope you've seen enough to want to tune in next time for part two of I Want to Be Myself. Hope to see you next time. Cheerio.